it's really cold out today. Incredibly cold to the point where I, of all people, have actually not worn a t-shirt today, which is uh, very rare. And whenever it's cold, I sort of always end up thinking uh, out of my own personal sphere and into the disadvantage, basically. You know, you should think of them a lot more and I should definitely consider them more than I do because yes, I do mm, a lot. It's mostly out of sort of that guilt, neglect type feeling, not actually out of any progressive betterment, which I should actually be pushing to do more of. I end up thinking about them a lot, especially in the cold, especially in the winter, because two things come to the poor, impoverished and disadvantaged in the winter. One, the cold, of course, the icy, bitter, brutal weather that you can die out in. You can die out in the cold, and I don't think very many people realize that. There are hundreds of thousands of people forced to sleep on the streets with no other options, and they do this every winter, not even just in the winter, every cold night that happens, even the off-season ones. They have no choice, and many of them do die very unfortunately, and that's a terrible, terrible thing. Um, and secondly is with the winter comes the festive seasons. Now, I'm not American, but homelessness is not just a English problem. It's huge in the United States, even bigger than it is here. Uh, so the festivities, basically, the holiday season. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, if you're American, as I pointed that out, and Christmas and New Year's will be coming, which is meant to be the happiest seasons of the year, meant to be huge celebrations, big family, friends, party, love, unity, you name a positive attribute, it's associated with Christmas. And these people either don't have the house to celebrate in, they don't have the family to celebrate with, they don't have the capacity for such enjoyment, they are miserable, they are without the festivities because they can't bring themselves, they can't have, they can't achieve, they can't be given or reach for themselves these things we take for granted and we believe as, you know, oh, we all want Christmas, we want Christmas, we we want that really expensive two to six hundred pound thing, whereas all these people want is, you know, the emotional attachment of happiness. Like, um, we are hugely advantaged and hugely ignorant and we take so much for granted and especially around this season those without what we have suffer a lot stronger than normal and one thing i want to say is you see homeless person it's it's not a freak it's not someone you don't make eye contact with they're not gonna hurt you they're not gonna uh, dis disgust you they're not gonna do anything you just look them dead in the eye or don't look them dead in the eye it's a bit weird but you acknowledge them and the whole mythos of you give a homeless person money they'll spend on drugs don't give them money at all period that's that's a class infused and enforced maxim to stop the poor from gaining any money that is what that is you give them money you give them food you give them what you can because they need it much more than you do the assumption that it will go straight to drugs is a classist thing. A hugely classist thing that has come directly through classism. And um, other than that, that is the second most important thing you can do. The first most important thing, as I slightly touched upon, is acknowledge them, but not just acknowledge them. Greet them with pleasantries. You see a homeless man, tell him to have a good day. You see a homeless man, Ask them how they've been. Have this small talk. They, the small talk you would have with someone still a stranger, yet you kind of want to know you positively, um, sort of positively consider. Have that type of level of small talk. Have that pleasantry. Don't completely devoid them and blank them. Give them a smile, a nod, anything, because for those people at this time, everything's shit and there's nothing much that they see is going to make it any better and any little nod, any little attribute, any little help, which makes me sound like Tesco's, any little help will go miles. So don't be a dick, don't be a prick, and don't be a greedy bastard.